Hi guys, I'm Sakura and I'm one of the co-founders of Blog Ads. Today I'm going to tell you guys all about the difference between Blogger and WordPress.org. Basically, this is just a review video and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Blogger and a little bit about WordPress.org, the benefits and um, what's what we like about it, what we don't like about it. So I'm going to start off with Blogger first. First, we're here at Atlantic Pacific. So she is one of the biggest fashion blogger um, ever, really. And she still uses a Blogger platform. Blogger is great, really, for, you know, pictures and then a little bit of content. Clearly, Atlantic Pacific doesn't write a lot, but you can be writing a lot. Here's a little bit of pictures, and then you scroll down to the next type, uh, the next post. Here's more pictures, and then here's a little bit of content. So it's really the ultimate fashion blogger platform. Um, it's what everyone started off with, and a lot of people actually switched over to other platforms such as WordPress.org. Blogger is great um, for different reasons. Um, basically, you can see the basic stats, so um, you don't have to have Google Analytics set up, but you still should. It gives you a lot more um, stats when it comes to Google Analytics, but Blogger does give you a lot of stats. As you can see, pages for today, pages yesterday, um, the last month, uh, traffic sources, the most popular posts, different page views. So it does give you a lot of that, which WordPress.org does not unless you have Google Analytics set up. Again, regardless if you have Blogger, you still should have Google Analytics set up. There isn't too much to it. When it comes to design and the layout and the themes, I think you have to rely a lot more on a developer and a designer than you would if you were to be using WordPress.org because you can just buy a WordPress theme and you can customize it really on your own. So that's why I personally prefer WordPress.org. Um, with Blogger, you really can't do a whole lot um, with because you don't really have plugins. So for example, if you were to use a WordPress platform, here I am in, on my personal blog, and say I wanted to add a e-commerce uh, part of my blog, then I can easily add a plugin which gives me the shopping cart. If I wanted to add a Instagram feed on the bottom, then I can easily download a plugin for that. And again, I can do this all on my own. I don't have to rely on anyone else except for myself and I can customize it to my liking. And with Blogger, you really can't do that. You don't have um, the ability to adjust things a whole lot, customize things a whole lot. So with that, I really like WordPress.org. Again, Blogger is great for pictures and then content. Uh, WordPress just allows you to do a whole lot more on your own. Again, 24% of the world population uses WordPress.org, so that kind of shows you, and that's a lot. There's other platforms, but WordPress.org just allows you to grow a whole lot more than Blogger would. So um, with that, I would personally start off with Word, WordPress.org. Um, again, you don't want to redo your website a couple months later, so I say start if you're about to start your blog or start a website, start off with WordPress.org and just grow from there rather than switching platforms later on. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at info at and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks guys, bye.